And I was on a damn roll, too. I had to redo this because the damn phone rang and it was a robocall. So that really irritates me. But this what if comes to us from Corey Dillon, I believe. That is the name of the person who gave me this one. Whoa, stupid ball. Um, Corey Dillon, yes. And he asked the question, what if Ra Goku went with Raditz? Basically joined up with Raditz. Now, to understand this, you have to basically understand that it wouldn't be that Goku turns evil. That's different. Who would win entirely? Uh, evil or anything like that. It's what if there's a realistic scenario that Goku goes along with Raditz? So what would happen is things go about the same. Go, Raditz shows up, confronts Goku, kicks his ass, kicks Krillin's ass, takes Gohan. They go to confront him and there's a fight. But after uh, around the point where Gohan rages out and basically smashes into Raditz, like, ugh, reads his power level and everything. Instead of wanting to just kill, right out kill Gohan, he just sees it, like, what? This is Kakarot's kid. He's only half Saiyan. How is this possible? And then he looks at it. Then he realizes if there's that much innate power in this kid, maybe there's something we can do about Frieza. Maybe there's something we can do about the Saiyan race. And they just say, they actually just says, wait, 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 wait. <sighs> I want to call a truce. And it's like, what? Seriously? It's like, yeah, I mean, uh, 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 my name's not truce. It's Goku. <laughs> Uh, obviously that wouldn't happen, but you no, know, he explains that your your kid is he's that power in him. It's unbelievable. And then yeah, he basically look, he basically starts to explain the scenario with Vegeta, with Nappa, with um, Frieza, and initially they probably wouldn't believe him, rightfully so, because he's you know we jacked him and everything like that. And he, and he even says like, I understand you have no reason to believe me right now, and quite frankly, I probably wouldn't believe me either right now. But look, you have to understand, I'm. I'm not, no attack. I'm, uh, my guard is down. If you're going to, I'll even say this. If you're going to make the kill move, do it now. But understand, I'm being serious about this. And go, Piccolo would be inclined to do so, but Piccolo, Goku would actually be like, wait, Piccolo. I think we should try, at least hear him out. And then he explains it again and everything along those lines. And this is a tyrant whose power was enough that he could destroy planets. In fact, even Raditz, now, Raditz, we don't know if Raditz knew that if, uh, Vegeta, uh, Frieza destroyed Vegeta. But he's a smart enough guy. I mean, he maybe even he probably considered it at some points. So maybe he even brings that up and says like, "Look, and it's like, what, uh, so what do you want to do?" And it's like, it's like, "I want you to come with me." And it's like, "Train with me, go, uh, Goku. We'll infiltrate them. Well, it, maybe we'll even bring we can even bring Vegeta and Nappa to our side with your help, and that way we can go, uh, together conquer free, bring down Frieza, and rebuild the Saiyan race together as brothers." <laughs> Join me, Goku. Um, it's like, and then Goku considers this. He's like, I don't know. I don't really want to conquer anything. But at the same time, this freeze is as strong as you say. I want to fight him. Uh, it's like, that, what, what's, no, you freeze. He's the tired of good blow up plans and all that. So eventually Goku's like, all right, but you got to explain it to everyone else. And you have to apologize to Krillin and my son and my wife. It's like, uh, 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 it's like, uh, fine. Because Raditz is a bit more cautious and a bit more, for lack of a better term, he's a bit smarter than your average Saiyan. He, well, he's, not, he's not above swallowing his pride. Even though he does have Saiyan pride, he's not above doing that. So, first off, they go back to Kami's house. Raditz is there. But they can clearly see that things are under, uh, more under control at this point. And he's like, oh, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> and then, uh, wow, uh, thanks. Yeah, it's, well, it's okay, Uncle Raditz. <laughs> and he even sees, goes like, well, see, the boy, see, my, oh, it's like, and he realizes, like, that's right, he's my nephew. And it's like, see, my nephew forgives me. This is that right, little one. And it's like, ah, he, and he tickles and rolls his hair. It's like, ah, it's a little hard. And say, like, oh, oh, I like this kid now. And like, he's, like, he's a little, he's a little wimpy, but I'm sure with some training, we'll be able to, uh, we'll train that out. We'll be able to tough him up a little bit. So they explain the scenario and basically as I said, where's your pod? I think it was destroyed, honestly. Yeah, I remember crashing in the mountains. I was like, yeah, oh, the pod, uh, you mean that uh, your the pod you came in, like the one that you came in? It's like, yes, it's how I got here. Uh, but we got to figure out a way to get me and Kakara back into, back into space and back to the front. It's like, well, if you give me a chance to analyze it, I'm sure I could whip something up. It's like, you? <laughs> what could you do, woman? It's like, and then he suddenly gets the death glare, and then she's like, mm, and he actually backs up. It's like, ah. it's like, I'll have you know, I'm the smartest most capable inventor in the world. Give, show me your ship, and I guarantee you in a week, I'll have you a ship that's ten times better. It's like, well, 
whoa. <laughs> it's like, he just looks up and like, who is that woman? It's like, oh, that's Balma. Uh, her family owned the castle, uh, castle with the richest and most uh, richest family and their inventors and everything. It's like, whoa. <laughs> it's like, because Saiyans are attacking the strong room. Rads and Kai just be like, hmm, well, uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's quite the woman there. Um, of course, Yon should be like, yo, dude, bro, that's that's my girl. It's like, oh, really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, you want to fight me for It's like, oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> so, yeah, after she analyzes Rad's ship, they basically build the Caps Corp ship. But Rad stresses that they can't put, they shouldn't put the logo on there because if Freeze or anyone identifies it, they may try to go back to Earth. Uh, also, she explains that there's a gravity uh, center uh, thing in there because Rad's explained that Rosanne's rays under higher gravity um, than uh, on Earth. So you, she would make the gravity. I don't know what's exactly called the gravity engine or gravity machine. I don't know. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, so they have that. And now they, they basically go, Chi-Chi bids farewell to Goku. It's like, I'm going to have to go train. It's for the best, Chi-Chi. We're going to come back and we're going to beat these guys. It's like, all right, Goku, but be careful, be careful Dad. Uh, don't worry. And Piccolo's there and he's like, Mm, I'll train your kid, Goku. Don't worry. It's like you'll do no such thing. Chi Chi just looks at him. It's like, uh, but Chi Chi, I mean, go go. Right. He actually, Go once actually got upset. Like, He's gonna be a scholar. It's all that stuff. We're not gonna be a fighter. It's like, uh, and then Rad's like, oh, whoa, you got. And, and she's yelling, doing the Tiger Man thing. And Rad's gonna be like, I see why you like this woman. I see why you like your mate, Kakarot. It's like, yeah, she, yeah she's she's uh, she's a bit much, but I love her. <laughs> um. But I think there will be some sort of compromise that's reached. It's like, fine, you can train him, but he has to study as well. It's like, oh, fine. He should actually be a, he should be able to know, be a pretty smart kid anyway, not just a fighter. So then they leave. Now, we don't know how long it took Rads to get to Earth. Uh, we know it took, it, was to, it took Vegeta and Nappa about a year from where they are. So <clears throat> from wherever Goku, uh, let's say wherever the main ship that Vegeta and Nappa hang out at, uh, that is where they're going. Now it'll take them about a year. Let's just say that. Meanwhile, all the other Z fighters will be training until the Saiyans arrive. Uh, should be noted, that's going to be longer than a year in this case, because it's going to take them a year just to get back to them. Meanwhile, Rads would contact them. It's like, uh, my ship was destroyed. How I was able to fight a new ship, uh, uh that the locals had. Should just suffice. I'm bringing Kakarot back intact. Overall, the, and basically explain that the overall the planet's a bust, but they had enough tools and stuff along those lines. Uh, and also, Rads and Goku would also, and I think they would make the effort to make the sh ship, because again, Rads is not a dumb guy, make the ship look a little worn down, make it look like it's an old beat-up ship. So meanwhile, they would train. Now, Goku had difficulty training under the ten times gravity for a little bit in King Kai. I don't know how long it took him ex exactly to actually overcome that, but it probably took him a couple months at least. So let's say for the first three months or so, um... They're only training at 10 times gravity till Goku basically adjusts, adjusts to it. Also, it should note that Goku took, roughly speaking, a 20 times multiplier going from around 400 and I want to say it was 12 to about 8,000, a little over. So that's roughly 20. So let's say when he finally adapted the 10 times aspect of it, he took a 10 times multiplier, putting him around 4,000, give or take. <clears throat> Reds, likewise, would also increase. Not at the same rate. A, because I would just believe Goku can increase at a quicker rate naturally than Raditz could. But also because Raditz is more used to 10 times gravity. Uh, but he has a uh, he still has a training partner to train with Goku. So Raditz would be around maybe 5,000 and Goku would be around 4,000. Once Goku is fully alchemated. At that point, they start actually increasing the gravity up because they can realize they can do that. Um, so at that point, they spend the remaining nine months training. And I don't think they get to a full 100 times gravity, honestly. Uh, I think what's more likely is they get somewhere in the neighborhood of <clears throat> 50, maybe 60. Let's say 60 for sake of numbers. I do think Goku is just the naturally quicker progression. So now they are more acclimated with gravity individually. Goku increases faster than the Rads, which would put Goku, roughly speaking, in the neighborhood of, uh, say, uh, I'm going to put him around 30, and Raditz around 24, let's say. But... Goku also teaches Raditz a thing or two about actual power control, sensing key, and suppressing his key. So when they finally show up, Rads, uh, Vegeta, and Nappa are there, and they're like belittling him. He's like, ah, Kakarot, I see you wiped out that planet. Good on you. They, they work, they explain this bit. Goku kind of puts on a bit of an act. They get a brief power reading. He's like, 
Oh, I see you actually, uh, and I see that ship was a two-man ship. You had some time to train in there, did you? Uh, yeah, we, we certainly did. I see you got actually a good workout running. You're actually pushing 3,000 now. Same with you, Kakarot. Uh, you're a bit of a, quite impressive, really. Um, for such low level, of uh, such low level punks as you. <laughs> and then they laugh. Um, and they basically explain, they basically are putting on an act for right now. Goku's just like, so that's them, huh? It's like, they're pretty strong. Yeah, but at this point, we're actually, we actually dwarf them in power. Uh, and then they actually get to notice that Frieza himself is coming to just uh, do some inspections on the ship and things along those lines. So now it's like, oh, crap, Frieza's coming. It's like, Frieza, all right, we're going to take him. No, we, we are nowhere near capable. We, Goku, you are, uh, your power is like 30,000 at max right now. Frieza is over 10, almost 20 times stronger than you. Literally, no joke, as right as like, you're joking, right? And then Goku can actually sense Freeze's powers. Like, you're not joking. Holy crap. So basically, like, oh, and so basically, ah, it's like, so how did the acquisition of the planet go for Vegeta and Abba? Like, oh, it went fine, blah, 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 blah. And Raditz, how was your trip to Earth? Like, and then he sees, oh, who's this? My brother, Kakarot. Uh, he he managed to wipe the planet clean. Unfortunately, the planet's no good to us. And then, uh, and then you know, say uh, uh, that's right, Lord Frieza. It's an uh, uh, Lord Frieza. It is an honor to meet you. Uh, it is an honor to meet you. Unfortunately, there is uh, the planet was uh, of little value to us. Oh, probably should just go blow it up then. And Goku actually says uh, no, and then actually catches the, uh, everyone off guard. Like, I mean, I mean, there's really nothing. The best we had was this clunky old ship. My ship got destroyed in the crash. But the best we had was this clumpy old ship. Uh, I mean, do you really want to waste your time on a planet that has no value? And which is surprised, even Raditz even kind of uh, states that. And is even surprised by how Go smart Goku just brought that up. Goku's even surprised by how uh, smart he was when he said that. I think the whole time with Raditz was kind of wise him up a bit. And Frieza would be like, yeah, that's a good point, uh, Kakarot. Uh, well, well, well said. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, besides you have more important uh, uh, besides I have more important things to do anyway. Uh, so and but this doesn't go noticed by Vegeta uh, and Nappa. After they basically Vegeta leaves the sh uh, Frieza leaves the ship and all that. Vegeta and Nappa confront him. It's like what was that outpost of Frieza earlier? You. Th it's like, what are you, what are you hiding? It's like, uh, what do you mean hiding? You, you just acted right when he said he was going to destroy the You were almost scared like a newborn baby. You have something you care about on that planet, don't you? Ah, uh, well, and then Raj is like, ah, uh, crap. All right. And then he actually explains how, what went down to Earth. It's like, in that, and together, we might be able to actually reestablish the Saiyan race. We could do it on Earth. It's like, what? It's like, no, no, I don't mean we're taking it over, Go Goku. I just mean, you know, reestablish it on Earth, you know? Uh, I mean, you got... And so it's like, oh, fine. It's, um, uh, all right. It's like, <laughs> it's like we're stuck. we can't beat Frieza. If anyone could, it'd be me. And I... And you can't do it. You're barely even stronger than I am, and I can't do it. One day I will, though. One day I'll gain my power and avenge them. It's like, really? You sure about that? And just like, of course! Your power's a bear cat. You couldn't even compete with Nappa. And then they power up to their full powers to show off their powers. And they what? It's like, yeah, we were doing a bit of training, a bit more than just training, uh, than the, just the basic training. And they, seeing this, and their power is, it's now kind of dwarfing their power at this point. Like, but Vegeta, their power is like, I see it, damn it! How did you get so strong? How did you do it? It's like, well, maybe we'll tell you, but you have to agree, A, not to, not to wreak havoc on Earth, and B, to calm the hell down, and, you know, um, and he hears out of the fence, like, I don't have to do anything I say. You're, you're scum. I'm a saint. I'm the principal of saints. I'll beat this information out of you. Ah, and then he powers up. Basically attacks Raditz first, because, you know, Raditz is someone he's just more inclined to dislike, because uh, he's worked with him. But Raditz at this point, I think Vegeta's the better fighter, but Raditz at this point is just able to just, boom, boom, just block him. He, no matter what, he's just faster and stronger than him at this point. And just, boom, gut checks him. There you go. So ultimately, like Vegeta goes down. Nappa does he? Nappa was considering it, but then Goku just gave him and looks like, "You want to go?" It's a like, river. Nappa can sense his his power. He's like, "I'm not even close to that." It's like, "Nope, nope, we're good, we're good, no problem, bros, no problems." Eventually, Vegeta's just like, "Oh, it's like, damn it, I need to get to a pod." And then eventually, he's just he's gotten he's not knocked out, but he's had the crap kicked out of him. His pride's damaged. He's like, "Look, your pride's damaged. You, you want to regain that pride? You want to eventually maybe even get stronger than me?" You need to hear me out on this. He's like, damn it. And then he's like, fine. 
Give me to a healing pot. Oh, there's no need for that. We have these. Like, what's this? And it gives him a sense of he's like, a, a better, a better. What was that thing? Sense me. It's like that thing is amazing. Um. Uh. So, uh, they explain that, and basically they explain that what they're doing and what the plant ultimately is, and how they did it, how they got as strong as this. So you're saying that the warriors are currently training, preparing for either me, us, or freeze out his forces. Is that right? That's yeah. That's like, and what you're doing is basically raising an army strong enough to beat Frieza. And that you were able to get this in this. That's ridiculous! I Frieza would Vegeta would be very stubborn on this. It's like, really, then how'd I get strong enough to kick your ass? Uh, fine, I'll go to Earth and be uh, we'll go to Earth ourselves now, but be like, you're not going anywhere without us. It's like, Wanna bet? And then just kind of does an underhanded trick and kind of like beats them. Uh, kind of just destroys their ship as it gets like, later. And then they go to, and they decide to go to Earth just to be certain about this. It's like, crap, we got to rebuild the ship and everything. Uh, so uh, basically they have someone basically explains like, rebuild that ship. It's the only thing we have. We, we have positive. Rebuild that. Fix up that damn ship. Because that ship's better than their pods. So now they have to wait. Uh, they they, they got to wait a couple days. It's going to take Vegeta and Nappa about a year to get there. Uh, and at that point, because um, I'd imagine they would have left the communicator with uh, Bulma in the game just in case. And Bulma maybe has it. And basically they get in contact. Bulma, Bulma. Uh, it's like, Bulma, woman, woman. It's like, my name is Bulma. Bulma. It's like that they I try to convince Nappa and Vegeta of uh, Vegeta of what's going on here, but they're not they didn't buy it. They're go, uh, coming on their way down. They're coming their way to Earth. And they destroyed our ship. And the ship you gave us. And we'll give you repair, but it's gonna take us a little time. We're not gonna get there in time to stop uh, before they reach down. So you're gonna you're gonna have to alert everyone that they are coming. So now you have basically the Saiyans coming down. Napa, Vegeta's also a little stronger too because they had the audacity to give him a bit of a to give him the Senzu beam. So he's actually probably more along the lines of where he is on Namix, around twenty four thousand, which means he's now roughly on par with Raditz. <clears throat> so after the ship is fixed, Goku and Raditz both head out on their own, uh, and they put a little extra pedal to the metal. So they'll basically it's gonna be like, they're gonna be like within an hour of each other, more or less. Uh, when they, when Vegeta and Nappa hit, uh, reach down there, and when Goku and Raz reach down there. So, Raz and Go uh, Goku now double time their training. Like, we need to, if they get down there and they, and they're not prepared, we're gonna have to really do something. That's like, damn it! Alright, cockroach. And they go, set of 50, they said, screw it, pump it up to the 75 marker. And then they feel the strength, like, let's do this, cockroach! Yeah! And then they go again. So they're training for another year. And they'll, they'll definitely hit a hundred mil, a hundred times, or, or normal gravity at that point. <clears throat> Which, at that point, when they get there, their power is probably going to be... Ooh, man. That's a good question, actually. A year training probably at around 70 to 100 year, uh, times gravity. I'm going to put Goku at 150, Raz at 100, respectively. Um, so they're going to be bored and powerful and take them on. However, we cut back now to the Earth. Uh, to Earth and how that's been going. Uh, basically, take a year and you'll have everyone at the power levels they are. Though... <clears throat> I had actually put Gohan a little stronger, maybe like a 1,200, because Piccolo's had permission to do that with Gohan with Chi-Chi. So it's a bit more, he's had a bit more time to do so. Then they actually get the word from Kami, from Bulma, who uh, basically, basically through the grapevines, they get uh, a, me a message from Kami and others that they're coming, and that Vegeta and, Nap uh, Vegeta and Rads were unable to convince them. So they're coming. So now they have to double-time their training. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, I mean, most of them have, like, increased by six to eight times. So, kind of just put a, du a double multiplier on there. So, we don't know where Chiaotzu is. I'm going to just affectionately put Chiaotzu at around 1,000 at that point. Because Chiaotzu's power... We only ever have one reading on Chiaotzu's power level in the Dijon Shu, and it's like 600-something. Um, and Chiaotzu is not very strong physically as a martial artist. He's got psychic abilities more than anything else. Uh, Krillin would be... I got my calculator right here, actually. Krillin, I believe, was like at 206. Uh, sorry, I got a bunch of just random updates. So, ooh, that's not the calculator. That's my internet. Uh, to do do. Uh, where's my calculator? There's, seriously, where's my cal? Oh, no calendar. Where'd my calculator go? Uh, 
Sorry, one second. Oh, no, that's not my calculator. Where the hell did my calculator go? Uh, the calculator, there it is. That was supposed to be on the phone. All right, so we would put uh, Krillin, if he's multiplied by about 12, which is what he'd probably be at this point. He's about 206. He'd be at, we'll even him out to about two, uh, 2,500. <clears throat> Tien was 250. He went to about one, 280, which is not a full 8. It's more around 7. So at 250 times... Uh, 14 would be, he'd be around 3,500. Uh, Yamcha also was around, I think, 117, and he was around 1,480. So divide that by 177. And yeah, he took about it eight times. So instead of that, you have Yamcha going to a power level, roughly speaking, of 16... Uh, 2,800. <clears throat> and then Piccolo would be the, Piccolo would be the real shit brick house there because he went from 400 and I want to say it was 19 at his full power to, because afterwards it was, uh, no, uh, yeah, after he gained a little pe power boost from when he, uh, recovered. Uh, and he went from that to 3,500 which I call a bullshit on because there's no way. But 500 less than Nappa. He shouldn't have done as bad as he did in the fight against Nappa. Uh, so, yeah, he took, roughly speaking, a eight, times eight. So he would also take, a, roughly speaking, a 16, which would put him affectionately at 6,700. So he would actually be he'd actually be able to beat Nappa suppressed. So when the, that's all said and done, they get there. And we're going to leave it off with the same thing that happened last time is Vegeta and Nappa coming there. They're not here for Dragon Balls, though. They're here to test the defenses are to see what this planet has to offer and everything along those lines. So stay tuned. That's where part one ends and part two begins. Uh, so thanks for watching, though. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. Well, I'll do a review of it at some point. Uh, I just will win Star Wars Superior Magic. What if anything I do on the channel? Put that in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to that at some point. But uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you.